The upper 20s for some, but most will top out in those low to middle 30s with a wind out of variable directions just between about 5 and 10 miles per hour. So relatively tranquil weather day. We have these clouds spilling in from the west, uh, thickening up, especially over western North Dakota. But we're seeing those clouds increase for the central part of the state as well. Maybe a couple of flurries or light snow showers around the Williston region. But the jet stream pattern is generally coming into the Pacific Northwest, coming over our region with some pieces of energy and then towards the Great Lakes. But the ample moisture off the Pacific is going to slam into Oregon, Washington, and parts of western Canada with plenty of moisture. We'll get some of the leftovers east of the Rocky Mountains, just a couple of chances of a tenth to maybe a quarter inch of precip at most as we go over the next seven days. The best chance of that being on Sunday and then Tuesday. But for the afternoon hours today, cloudy skies expected with high pressure nearby, keeping those winds rather light. Into the overnight, those clouds remain with maybe a couple areas of patchy fog. There'll be more sunshine on Saturday across southern North Dakota compared to the north and east with temperatures a little bit warmer tomorrow. On Sunday, as a warm front glides through, that'll increase our temperatures, but it'll bring a couple of rain showers in the early morning time frame. Here's a 3 a.m. snapshot, maybe a bit of mix across the international border. Otherwise, a dry period during the morning with a mostly cloudy sky and then a few more isolated to scattered rain showers anticipated into our Sunday afternoon as this system swings through, bringing mostly cloudy skies for or Sunday as well, but that warm up will certainly uh, be a change for Sunday compared to these temperatures on Saturday that are still below normal as a whole, but getting above normal in some cases on Sunday. Look at this 55 on Sunday in Dickinson, near 60 degrees on Sunday in Hedinger, but only around 43 in Minot. The last 50 degree plus day, you got to go back about two weeks to before that big October snowstorm that we had when we had temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Again, our normal highs are getting closer to the mid 40s now. And we're going to flip back our clocks one hour on Sunday. So that means our sunrise gets one hour earlier. And of course, our sunset gets one hour earlier as well. So uh, once we turn those clocks back, getting into the five o'clock hour for most and the four o'clock hour for mountain time for those sunsets with daylight saving time coming to an end on Sunday. We'll see temperatures then cool down gradually into next week into the 40s, but not looking too bad. Krista, the snow will be melting away, especially on Sunday with those temperatures in the 50s for some. Yeah, that's right. And 60 degrees sounds so nice. Oh man, yeah, we gotta make a road trip to Hedinger. <laughs> yeah, and I'm kidding, it'll be <laughs> worth the trip. Yeah.